Hey guys, so today is going to be all about my denim collection. I have a full pile of jeans right here. If you don't know by now, I am obsessed with jeans, just bottoms in general. I don't know what it is about pants and jeans and denim and bottoms, but I'm always feeling like I need another pair or I'm always wanting a new pair. So I've pretty much tried on everything and I now feel like I've figured out what works best for me, what are the best jeans that I have found that's out there. Um, I have things from lower end to higher end. Um, and I'm gonna show you and tell you what's in my denim collection and what are the best jeans that I think that there are out there. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is just a whole pile of denim jeans of different brands. Um, right now what I have on is this tassel fringy sweater and I just have on some camo jeans from Zara. So I wanna start by talking about Zara jeans. So I do have these. These are not denim. They're more of like a cottony feel. These are just bought because I didn't wanna to invest too much money in a camouflage pair. Um, because for me, camouflage is more for like seasonal. I feel like they usually come back in style um, and on trend during the fall time. So that's why I wanted to just invest in a inexpensive pair. The thing about Zara jeans is I stopped buying Zara denim because for me, I feel like the fabric is a little too thin. I'm gonna to touch on a lower end denim Denim brand that you guys might already figure out if you've been following me but I'm gonna touch on a lower end denim brand that I actually love that's in a similar price point to Zara but I feel like it is way better quality um, but for now I just wanted to mention that I stopped buying Zara jeans if Zara jeans work for you that's great um, for me I just find like they're too thin they stretch out all right first pair of denim brand that I want to talk about is by ASOS I made a video about ASOS denim being the best affordable denim brand out there and I still stand true to that. I've met subscribers that have come to me and that have told me, oh my God, I love the ASOS jeans that you recommended. I bought them in so many different colors. I have so many pairs. I'm so glad you talked about them because they loved it and I still to this day love it. And so the first pair that I'm gonna talk about is a skinny pair and um, these ones I all got in the petite size. So a lot of the ASOS label brands will come in petite and tall, they have maternity. Um, so it's really great for different people with different shapes and sizes. And so I got the Ridley jeans is what they're called in a petite size. For petite for me and ASOS, I have to size up. So usually I'm a 24, but I ordered a 25 in all of these. The reason why I got petite is because of the length. What I love about these jeans is that they feel really nice and they're super comfortable. There is a lot of stretch to them, but the best thing about them is that they won't stretch out. I hate when jeans, you know, you wear them throughout the day and they'll stretch out like a whole size, especially around your leg. That is not the case with these jeans. Um, they range anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. They are always on sale and they're so good that they sell out all the time. I think another comparable brand to these are the Jamie by Topshop. I've never personally tried Topshop brand jeans, um, but I hear really, really, really good things about them. So again, I will link all of these that I mentioned. I'll link really some Topshop jeans. I'll link these ASOS jeans down in the description box below. They all do have rips on the knees. They have a bunch where they don't have any rips on them, but this is kind of like a mid wash blue color. This is probably my favorite wash of the bunch that I have. I don't know why, it's such a pretty kind of blue. One thing that I wanna mention that is really nice about these jeans is, is that they make your waist and your butt look so good. And then I also have a darker pair, same style, same brand, same size. Um, rips of the knees as well. Okay, next jeans are again by ASOS. They are like a mom jean. They're a high waist with a straight leg. So this is called the ASOS Farley jeans. Again, I'll link it in the description box below. But this is a really good dupe. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, a lot of my pictures I've been taking with another pair of straight leg mom type jeans. But the ones that I like to wear a lot are by Mother. Um, this pair is one of my favorite jeans that I've ever worn, but they're really, really expensive. They're around 
200 to 250 and I know that's an insane amount for jeans but these ASOS Farley jeans are such a good inexpensive dupe for the mother ones that I have. So moving on to higher end pairs of jeans. I'm really picky about my jeans. That's why I really only will recommend ASOS jeans because those are tried and true by me. Um, I'm not going to recommend jeans to you that I really don't believe in just to have a wide variety. I am going to go into probably my favorite brand right now. It's been my favorite for a while. I just finished talking about this pair. This is by Mother. This is called the Tomcat. This is actually Mother Superior. It's like their premium line I believe and that's why it's a little more expensive. If you feel these jeans, they're just so soft. And I think that's what you also pay for. It's just the quality, how it feels on your skin and your legs. Um, these are such soft jeans. They have a nice stretch to them. They just feel rich. This is what the back of the jean looks like, but they just have little details that, you know, you can't really get with every pair. These little details make a jean what they are. Mother does a really great job at them. The reason why I love Mother so much is because for my money, I feel like I'm getting what I'm paying for. I'm a petite girl. I am size zero or size 24. I'm only 5'1". A lot of the jean trends right now are a lot of raw edging. A lot of them have like a step hem. A lot of them are frayed hem. And so when you're short like me and you want a pair of cool jeans with that type of a hem, you can't really go to your tailor and say, hey, tailor, can you tailor these and can you also fray them just like how they were when I bought them? With mother jeans, I find that they fit me. I don't need to ever take them to the tailor. So again, these are called the Tomcats. Another pair that I loved for the summer that I'm still incorporating into my wardrobe for the fall. This one is called the Insider Crop Step Fray Jean by Mother. These are probably one of their most popular jeans. They do have that step hem at the bottom. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I show me wearing a lot of these jeans different ways, but I absolutely love them. I love these jeans so much that I got them in white, and I believe there's a bunch of these Insider Crops that are on sale right now. Now. So again, I'll link them. The next brand that I love is AG. So I mentioned this earlier. The name of this is called the Sophie High Rise Crop. This is the color Vertigo. For these, I had to size down. I'm actually a 23 in these for some weird reason. Um, but just like the mother jeans, these are almost half the price as mother. Um, but again, these ones, since they are a crop, I don't have to hem them. I love the little details on the bottom of the legs. So the ripping is not at the knee, but it's more towards the hem. I love how these make my butt look. They are a high waist, but they're not too high, um, they're not as high as the ASOS one. This is another pair of jeans by AG. They are a darker pair. This is called the Farrah Skinny Crop. These are a high rise. I believe the rise on these are a little higher than the ones I just showed you. Um, these do not have any rips on them. The color is gorgeous for fall, goes with everything. The back just looks like this. And then this has a nice raw hem. So I wanted to touch on a pair of jean brand that I absolutely love so much. They're probably one of the softest, most comfortable jeans I own. I only own a white pair. But what I found with them is that they don't have a lot of distressed jeans the way that I like. Um, I do love my jeans to have at least one rip in them. I don't know why. These are by Lejeance. Again, these are around the mother price range. So around 200-ish for a pair of jeans from Lejeance. But these ones are called the Margot, and these are a size 24. I see a lot of celebrities wear them, like Carla DeBello. They're super soft, they're comfortable, they're like leggings. I wish I could make you feel how soft these were. They're like butter, but they do look really, really good on your butt. And there are a ton of different colors for the Margot, and I feel like the Margot might be one of their best jeans that they have. Okay, so I'm taking a little shift. I wanted to talk about Rag and Bone. I have one pair of Rag and Bone. I've tried to give Rag and Bone a chance because I do like a lot of the styles of their jeans. I see a lot of women wearing their jeans and I tend to kind of be jealous because I just cannot for the life of me wear Rag and Bone. You guys see me wear this darker pair a lot. I still wear it because I love the color 
but I don't think that rag and bone jeans are even half as flattering on me as Mother, as AG. I think the ASOS ones are even more worth the money than these rag and bone jeans are. I find that their cropped jeans are still long for me. This one is called the 10 inch Capri, which I believe they cut all the time. This one I got in a size 24. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my measurements or if it's my height, but when I put these jeans on, I like the way they feel. They're soft. They have a nice stretch, but getting them through my foot and like my ankle is so tight compared to the rest of the jean. Like my ankles are really skinny, but why is it that these rag and bone jeans are hard to get through my ankle? I think that's crazy. So yeah, I mean, I felt bad. I feel bad that I spent all this money on these jeans. And so that's why I still wear them. This is kind of a unique color as well that I really like. It's almost like a faded or washed black. So they go with a lot of different things and great, especially for the fall. Um, if you love rag and bone jeans, good for you. I wish that I could fit them and I wish they were flattering on me, but these are just not worth the money. If you're petite like me, I would probably stay away from these jeans. All right, last but not least are jeans by the brand Frame. If you're taller than me and you are looking for a really good pair of jeans, um, I would really try Frame. Frame and Mother are my two top. Now the reason why I love Frame so much is because they are such a quality driven brand. When I say these are Spanx for your legs, I mean Frame jeans are Spanx for your legs. This was the first pair of Frame jeans I ever bought, um, which by the way, Frame and Mother are kind of around the same price point. So they are really pricey and expensive, but you can feel like the stretching quality is there. These look so good on your butt and on your leg. They just smooth everything out. Um, I love them so much. I had to get two other pairs. Another pair is a black pair that I can't find right now, but I have this um, a tad bit lighter pair, uh, but for me, frames do fit true to size. I get a 24 in these. This one is called the Le Skinny Dijon. So I have three pairs of Les Skinny Dijon. Um, these are not high waist, which I wish they were because I would use them a lot more if they were. Um, but again, Spanx for your legs. One of the best jean brands I have ever come across. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I just wanted to make it a short and sweet video. This is not all the jeans that I have in my closet. I just wanted to show you the ones that are worth it and some that aren't worth the money. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time.